Hey y'all, it's Farmer Mima, and I am a hot mess on a mission. And today, my mission is to show you how I'm getting my garden started with very little money so that maybe you can find a way to do the same. Now, let me show you some of the things that I do that keeps my budget very low. Number one, I use what I already have. If you have these from gardens past, rinse them out, clean them out, maybe soak them in some hot water with a little bit of bleach and you're good to go. Use what you already have. But these are really kind of expensive. And so what I did to cut down my cost even further is that I used, I bought these. You can get a pack of 100 for a couple of dollars from Walmart. You can probably get them cheaper somewhere else. I'm like a Sam's wholesale, wholesale type place. Drill two or three holes in the bottom of them for drainage. And then you have little individual pots. Now, whoops, I just slung dirt everywhere. The cool thing about these is that they're actually a little bit bigger than these things. And so you can leave your plants in these a little longer and let them develop an even stronger root system. Because look at the difference. I mean, that just like goes, just slides right on down in there. So this will last you a little longer, okay? And so I really like these. But you're like, well, especially if you're using a wire shelf, they're just gonna fall all over the place, right? Well, that's why I use these. You can get them lots of colors, lots of different styles, just these little trays from the Dollar Tree. And this one holds about 31. You can't, I don't know why you can't get 32 in here. It holds 31. Um, but this is good for organizing as well because you can have one, you can put all of your broccoli in one of these, and then all of your cauliflower in another one. So it helps you kind of keep everything organized. Now, something else that I spent a little money on, but it's still incredibly cheap, um, and from the Dollar Tree, are, now you've heard of those green stalk towers that are really expensive. Well, the Dollar Tree has their own version and this is it and these are pretty impressive they are a lot sturdier than i was expecting i thought they were going to be kind of flimsy but they are not and um so i bought these but my dollar tree didn't have any in stock and so i had to buy online and when you buy online you have to buy by the case you have to buy in bulk and so i got 36 i got 12 of each color and um yeah so when you put all of one color together it's like pretty tall it's pretty significant and so i'm really excited about using these this year and like i said each one is like a dollar and yeah i plan on putting herbs in mine and i might put some other things in it but first i'm starting out with herbs and maybe some strawberries let me set this down and so that was another way that i saved money um, and next, I'm going to show you some things that I do that cost like no money at all, okay? Number one, this, this is a trick that I learned from Jess over at Roots and Refuge. She uses this, like she planted her tomatoes like this. She just used a single container. And then she sprinkled a bunch of seeds in one little container. And then you just cover it a little bit with some more soil and they grow they grow all together nice little jungle of of tomato seedlings and then after they're growing then you separate them out and you plant them in larger containers and you can use you know like this size of a container if you want or a smaller one if you want so anyway i did that last year and it worked fabulously because I had really old seeds. I didn't know if any of them were going to grow. And so I didn't want to plant seeds, you know, go through this whole process of filling cups and planting seeds just to find out that they didn't work. Because, I mean, these seeds were like 2009, 2012. And so I just sprinkled them all in containers like this. And I had so many tomato plants growing last year. And then I transplanted them and they transplanted beautifully. And I actually planted the first tomato plants that grew in my garden ever last year. And it all started with a gallon milk jug that I cut the top off of and filled with dirt or soil, okay? So I did that. Here are some other things that I use. This, you know, pudding cups. 
This is a pudding cup. And the four ounces. These are all four ounces. This is one of those little applesauce cups. You can use these. So just when just save the stuff that you already use. And I hate throwing stuff away that can be used for something else. I really do. One of my other favorite things, okay. Store-bought pie. Eat the pie. You got this pie tin. What are you going to do with it? You can use it. You know, let's say you're going to grow some herbs. You're going to grow some dill. And you want to keep it separate from everything, you know. And so, voila. There are your dill plants. I like using these little flat containers to help organize. And another one that I love, because you can put water in the bottom of it. You have holes in here, and then you can put water in here, and the plants will soak it up. And so, you know, maybe you can have all your rosemary in a little flat like this, or whatever plant. Maybe you're just going to do a few tomato plants. Put all your tomato plants on one of these little flats. And a lot of them, this is like from when you get some kind of sandwich, like without a bun, and they put it on lettuce, and then they put them on these little things for you. And a lot of times, they will come with something like this. Let me say, where'd my, where'd my container go? I don't know where it's at, y'all. But I, have, I had a thing here a little while ago that was round like this, and it was deeper. And I used it to plant tomatoes in last year as well. But then, look, it even has the little thing you can put on top of it, like a greenhouse. So anytime you get those salad containers, or if you're keto and you get bunless burgers and they put them in these little plastic containers like this, save those. And you can also use, I think it's um, Kentucky Fried Chicken Famous Bowls. I think that's what my son gets. They have a black plastic bowl with a clear lid on it. Again, all of these are really good to use. And they act they even have their own little greenhouse effect if you use the lid. And so those are some other things that I use. Now, here, here's another idea. If you go to a party and they're using plastic cups, maybe they're using red solo cups, maybe they're using styrofoam cups, whatever they're using that's disposable. When they're done, ask if you can save them. Rinse them out and reuse them. Anytime we use a red solo cup, I rinse it out after we're, we're done with it. I rinse it out and then I put it in a new stack of my gardening cups. And so, I'm, you know, and I mean, recent red solo cups, you could probably reuse as a cup a few times, but you don't really want to reuse styrofoam. And so just rinse it out and then use it in your garden to grow seeds in. Let's see. Aha! Last but not least. We buy eggs in bulk because we go through a lot of eggs. And my chickens don't lay as many as we go through, okay? And so, again, you can use this. Fill it with soil. Plant your seeds. And one of the things that I also like to do, and um, whenever you buy a case of something like canned foods, a lot of times it will come on a little cardboard thing and I reuse those cardboard flats to put things on like I might put a bunch of these little cups on it and even though it's cardboard and it's not gonna hold water long term it keeps them all together and organized and then once it gets wet or you know I can just throw it away or I can put it in the garden or whatever I put it in the compost pile no big deal all right so that is what I do and as far as equipment goes and something else that I'm doing this year, and we're going to see um, how it works, is that, you now I have, I have lamps, like shop lights, that I'll be putting over um, my garden, or over my seedlings. But also, I have these ceramic tiles. Okay, they need to be cleaned off. But I'm going to put them, because this is in front of the window, I'm going to see if, when the sun shines in, if it warms this up, and I'm just going to see if this will hold heat to see if it helps the seeds germinate better or be stronger from the warmth that this will contain or will hold on to. So we're going to see if that works. That's just an experiment kind of in the making. But there you have it. Those are ways that I'm starting my seed for cheap or free 
to get my garden started and to not spend a lot of money. I hope you've been inspired to find ways that you can recycle and reuse and get your grow garden growing for cheap as well. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye y'all.